Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Uh, I'm back with another pop-up video. Uh, I, I made a couple of uh, decisions uh, along the way painting these, well I haven't painted them yet obviously, but converting them if, if I suppose if that's a word, or I prefer modifying really because I haven't converted them really, just just done a few mods to them. Uh, these are, Pr are Prussian uh, Karasia uh, regiments. Uh, they lost their uh, metal breastplates in around 1798 I believe. Uh, these are for the early part of the Napoleonic Wars you could say. Uh, I'm. These are for really you know the, the fourth coalition, War of the Fourth Coalition so you're looking at uh, obviously the famous battles of Jena and Auerstadt. Well, I suppose you could put them both together in a way. Uh, and some of the other smaller battles uh, that were in skirmishes that were fought in that brief uh, campaigning season. Uh, it was a total rout of the Prussian state and military uh, with a, a few surviving forces going east uh, to link up uh, with their Russian allies. So originally the, these were just, I'd had these for a, a few years, I can't even remember how long, they I, they just took my fancy when I was I was ordering some ABs. Now many many years ago on my channel, uh, it all started painting AB Napoleonics, and I'd got a small force uh, of Peninsula British, and I was going to do some French and that. And then people saw my AB painting, which was really in its early stages then, and um, I got uh, a fair few commissions out of it. Uh, but obviously I've done a lot of other scales, 28 mils uh, as well uh, since. So I've got these and I've changed the the white metal sword blades for metal as I showed the other day. Uh, I've since then increased the length of the, of the plumes on the on the on the bicorns, so the, so the hats of the, of the figures. Now they were supposed to be outsized bicorns and outsized plumes. Now <laughs> you got to bear it in mind Gav doesn't do a lot of this stuff uh, so, so the outside plumes are very outsized uh, but I'm sticking with them uh, they, they vary <laughs> they vary in size to how well I was doing them on, you know per figure uh, but I've increased the length of the plumes I thought they were just a tad on the small side uh, I've drilled obviously the reins out uh, I've drilled the sides of the reins out. I don't think I've, I have primed these white, so they're a bit harder to see. But I've drilled where possible the sides of the reins as well uh, with the smaller drill bits because they've been quite handy. They've 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 not seen I've lost one, but uh, one so far out of ten figures isn't bad. Uh, yeah, so this is the officer. As I said, I've pulled rather than trying to. It's always a thing with these abs is trying to get the 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 chabrique, the 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 blanket on the the on the saddle there uh, that goes on the back of the horse uh, to try to get that to conform is, is can be difficult uh, I've tried to thin them out as well file them down and thin them out but I thought on some of the figures if they've got some movement I'll actually pull the chabrique out as if it's you know flowing in the wind and the movement of the horse uh, and I think that I've quite enjoyed doing those actually not on every one of them um, I've also chased out where possible uh, the the infill around the swords, just to to make them a bit more, a bit more, um, you know, stand out. But I suppose is a better word. Uh, I think on the next cavalry, I've got to get up. I'm, I've undecided what I've did. Well, what I'm trying to say after all this, anyway, is I'm going to start yet another project. Uh, and when I say project, this is this is. Um, uh, I'm going. I'm going to paint the Prussian and Saxon forces uh, f that were involved in the Jena Auerstadt campaign. Not all of them. I, you know, obviously, I haven't got that much money and that much time. I'll be 110 uh, before that ever got finished. But I'm going to pick a division. I'm not sure which yet, uh, and I'll 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 paint that division. Uh, I'll also do a French one, and I'm going to buy myself, oh heaven help me, I'm going to buy myself a rule book I've decided on General de Armee and um, I'm going to just build this force up. Uh, the reason 
reason I'm going along those lines are I've put a lot of work into these guys. Originally, they were going to be as nearly all my figures are these days, just sold, you know, on completion. Well, I'm never going to get the money for the time I've put in for these. I've really been enjoying painting these on the side, well, converting them on the side, modifying them on the side. So I thought, what the hell? Uh, you know, that like most figures, they're not particularly cheap these days, but I've got 10. Why I chose 10, I've got no idea. Uh, I don't think I got them as a as a unit deal or anything. I can't even remember if I got them from the now Eureka site or the old Fighting 15s, to be honest with you. I have no idea. But I'm going to get these guys uh, as a project. Uh, I'm going to get back into painting my ABs uh, for myself. Uh, obviously still painting to sell them and that. Um, but I just thought... Rather than doing my red coats, because I, I, I do, I've always, obviously, I'm ex army. I, I, I like the, the the red coats, and to be honest with you, a lot of the time they don't get a lot of love, really. Um, and now I've done exactly the same because <laughs> I just like the I just like these early Prussian uniforms uh, and the Saxon uniforms. So I'm going to be doing early Prussians, early Saxons with some French thrown in as well. Um, I might even. Uh, as well as showing them on this channel, I might even start another channel and use it as a as a place where anybody that isn't interested in all the other stuff I do can just go along and just watch this project develop. I mean, they'll still be shown on this one as well, but probably go into a bit more depth maybe on, on another one. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I haven't even decided which these guys I keep swapping yet. I'm not going to say, because I might, I might change my mind, what regiment, but these are obviously Carasios anyway. So... You've seen them all, really. I'm not going to throw them all up again, but it was just a fact that I have lengthened the plumes and all that. As you can see, <laughs> I keep telling myself they look a bit better with paint on them, but I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you know, <laughs> they can only get better, as the song says. Uh, I, um, in fact, the trumpet is probably is probably one of the better ones. Uh, but yeah. I've made a command decision. I'm going to keep these. As I say, I'm never going to get the money back for them that I've put in. And although I don't, I always say, you know, to my wife, you know, it's just extra money that obviously she earns all the money. Um, you know, I'm, with my head problems, I, I can't work, uh, but we're not on benefits either. So, um, you know, it is what the few bits I get for my soldiers is, is my way of helping us out. But um, these guys I'm going to keep. And I'm going to keep, and I've just noticed I've got a nice bit of chunk of metal there that's hanging down from his bike. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, you know, do this. Oh, well, that's the other thing I did. I put the capes on the back. Uh, I made those out of, of obviously, um, putty. And each one of those has got one on the back. Uh, again, not as if Tony Barton would do it, but there aren't many Tony Bartons in the world. So, uh, yeah, I'll make a few changes as I go to some of the other units. Uh, I will heavily uh, convert and modify these guys. Oh, the other thing I've done on these, I've moved the arms about a fair bit, and I don't mean pinning and taking them off, just gently manipulating them bit by bit to different poses. I've tried to make each one slightly different, so they're not exactly as how uh, Mr. Barton originally originally done them. I mean, he must be absolutely spitting his brew out at the moment if he sees that plume, but never mind. Uh, each to his own. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, these will be, obviously, next time you see these, I'll paint, hopefully get some painted up. And I'm just going to make sure, I, I would imagine they would have been black horses, maybe dark brown, or dark chestnut. We, we shall see, dark bay. Uh, I'll have to look that up. But I'm using the Histoire Collections uh, book for my source of, of what units are in what and colours of buttons and things like that. Because the main, obviously, one of the other things was button colours like the Saxons. Some of silver, some of brass. So, uh, or pewter and brass. So, um, Yeah, and I, I often twist the, the horse's tails to one side or the other just sometimes. Again, it just breaks. It just gives... A, a, a feel that no particular haul, uh, you know, no particular mounted guy is, is exactly the same, and 
again Tony Barton's put the carbines in different positions which also helps I didn't go for any head swaps as I said earlier because you know I'm not a masochist if the if they're all looking the same direction which sometimes they are uh, in different units uh, then yeah head swap them uh, the one thing I'm going to do is I've got 10 I'm thinking I think General de Arme, you can have smaller units I don't want to have huge units because I've got to fund this obviously on myself and um, I can always add to them if I want to so I was thinking maybe 14 for these cavalry uh, something along those lines I've got 10 at the moment for some unaccountable reason I didn't have a standard bearer I didn't buy a standard bearer with these so I've got to get one anyway uh, flying the colours even if I believe they did bring their colours into into battle so uh, yeah it, it's it's going to be enjoyable I say it's just going to be bubble along I might even put a separate channel up as they'll still be shown on this one uh, but I might go into a bit more detail and just keep it purely uh, for that uh, actual um, actual uh, you know you, um, uh, project so look out for that uh, based around Jana Alstadt I know it was a quick uh, glorious for the French ignominy for the Prussians uh, and classic Gav I go, I've gone for the Prussian Saxon uh, cause uh, but with the, the French obviously being being replicated as well uh, I just like the the different uh, uniforms particularly the uh, the cavalry for the uh, for the Prussians and Saxons uh, how I'm going to replicate the uh, the different emblems on the horse furniture I have no idea they'll have to be simplified I think I'm not that good uh, but we'll see uh, so thank you very much for stopping by not so quick video there is another one I'll be doing uh, right after this if the battery holds out and that will be uh, I've just got a single sprue I bought off eBay of 28mm 95th rifles from War Games Atlantic and I just wanted to have a quick shift at those uh, before I uh, crack on and, and paint them at some stage <laughs> along with everything else so at the moment on the bench just to give you a heads up you can't see but I've got eight well let's go from scale we've got uh, I can reach these guys we've got these guys in uh, epic scale so 13 millimeter approximately I've got 54 mil also got some 28 millimeter French hussars which are ground to a screeching halt at the moment uh, I've got 28 mil Perry plastic French hussars I've got an Airfix 54mm uh, Polish First Lancers and a 54mm French uh, flat uh, 11th Hussars. <laughs> Not bad going really. So thank you much. Thank you very much if you stop by and take a look at that uh, this video. Uh, it's really interesting. I've never done any real massive modifications on any of the, the figures I do. Occasionally I do, but not very often. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. As I say, it's not. It's going to be a slowish burner in the sense of it takes time. It's taken me a good few evenings just to, with all the other stuff I'm doing, to convert these, uh, or modify them, and uh, um, yeah, uh, I've said I've got probably four to add, and I'm gonna. So one's going to be an NCO. I'm going to put his cane on, and they tend even the cavalry tend to carry a cane. Uh, for the sergeant so I'm gonna the four that I'll order I'll have a I'll put a cane on one I want at least one bareheaded as if his uh, bike horns come off so that probably will have to be a head swap um, yeah being a nice little unit when it's done and then it'll be on to another one of the whichever division I choose so look after yourselves thanks for stopping by I hope that's been of interest uh, they look a bit better once they've they're out the white primer and got some some color on them and uh, that'll be yet another u really useful box. Uh, I'll magnetize the bases and stuff, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll make a good show of that one over time. It'll get built up. I think I'll go right the way back to when the channel started. Better lighting, I'm uh, still rambling, uh, and um, there's no no swing on the channel one way or the other. It's just um, it's just yet another project. I was going to do my Indian Mutiny project. It's, I can't see that happening for the moment. Uh, and this has just given me the impetus to uh, have a go at uh, doing a fresh, fresh units for the for the ABs, uh, and but actually keep them for a change. So uh, hopefully see that going. You might even see some table action as well. So you never know. Uh, but we'll 
we'll cross that uh, that uh, bridge when we come to it if it's still intact so take care of yourselves and we'll see each other soon